Well, how's it going, everybody? There is no more exciting day than Amazon Day. Am I right? So today I got something different for you. I just got an unboxing. I do know what's in here, but some cool stuff that we're going to take a quick look at. Uh, one thing I mentioned in an early video was I was trying to not only learn about backpacking, but learn about video editing and videography and sound and all the things that go with it. So I've been trying to up my game. Now this isn't the first unboxing I did. I did do another one before. However, I didn't realize until about three quarters of the way through that my audio wasn't on. So I just ended up scrapping that one. But what it was, was three lenses for the camera that's recording right now. Turns out they didn't work out too good, but I wasn't expecting much. It was $25 for three lenses, so you know. Well, so this time I've got several different things in this box to try to just help get some better video uh, when we're out on the trail and just in general. So let's take a look. Got my Gerber dime again. This one is called the retail package opener. It seems right, huh? See how it works. Woo. Not bad. Oh, yes. Let's check this out. Of course, I've done a ton of reviews on these things. Trying to figure out what to get. So, first up, one thing that I wanted a lavalier mic to be able to be away from the camera and still get some audio and uh, didn't have a ton of money. So I picked up this F-I-F-I-N-E, I don't know how you pronounce that, uh, lavalier mic. And you know, it's been doing its job, not the best audio, um, but it's what I can afford at the moment. So. One thing I wanted to try to use while out on the trail taking some videos was this Rode video microphone. Now, saw a ton of reviews on this. I know some people that, that use it. So I'm hoping for some good things with this. So let's open it up. Retail package opener. Yes. Fort Knox here. Alrighty. Yep. Got the e-sorb. Then we got the instructions. Take a look at those. Got the hot shoe connector and the spring thingy. Number three is referred to as the shock mount. There we go. I just got a close up of the shock mount along with the shoe connector. Now, as I understand it, this actually will not fit on the camera that I use there to record. I got to get an adapter, but not this purchase. <laughs> I, I just think this is hilarious. I mean, I don't know much about uh, cameras and mics and such obviously but the fact that this is referred to as a dead cat kind of cracks me up and a close-up of the deceased feline close-up of the mic and then comes with the cord alrighty so we're gonna set the mic off to the side for the moment and move on to the next exciting item so here we have the Ulanzi DL49 Mini LED Video Light. Now I got this just to help increase lighting. I tell you what, I've watched some videos on lighting and learning about how much difference that makes. I've got a very cobbled together setup to try and improve what I'm doing here. Um, but this is for out on the trail, um, just to have a little extra light, maybe for doing some night shots. Or something like that. Uh, this comes with a 2000 milliamp hour battery, rechargeable battery in it. And uh, so let's open it up and take a look. 
I was going for small, cheap, and rechargeable. So this is actually a soft light. If you can tell, it's got a cover on it. If we take a look at the instruction book, you can see um, that there are lights underneath there. And then it's got a cover over it just to soften the light up a little bit. So let's uh, see if it comes charged. Yeah. Okay, so if you take a look here, it does have, uh, there's the on-off switch. And then M, I'm going to have to learn what M does. There was only a way to figure it out. <gasps> Instructions. Okay, so with superior brain functioning, I've managed to figure this out. So turn it on. It starts off showing you the brightness level. You see the little red light continuing to travel across the top here then when you hit the M button that's mode that shows you how much battery you got so out of what, five bars five bars of power we got two currently of course comes with its own USB-C charging cord so yeah kind of like this and then we got some uh, cold shoe mounts could take our microphone here clip it onto the side of the light one over here one over here one on top and then its own mount down below that also has a quarter inch 20 thread jack now for the main event picked up a hoem iSteady mobile plus phone gimbal for taking video on the trail with my phone just trying to get better shots, more smooth shots for y'all when we actually finally get to go hiking, which we will, trust me, it's in the plans. Uh, actually, March 13th is hopefully going to be our first trip out. And it actually may be all four of us. We've got Rugged Mountain Mama going with us on this one. So let's check this baby out. Now, an interesting, I don't know about interesting, interesting thing about this was I had one of these in my Amazon cart for a while. I've done some research, decided to go with this one. But I wasn't ready to purchase just yet. When I put it in the cart, it was $90, $89.99. But it sat in my cart for a while, and I get a notification. Oh, look, it's gone up to $99. I was like, oh, man. Should have bought it. So then I was like, well, oh well, you know, it's still probably worth 99. Then a couple days later, it went up another three dollars. It's dag gone. Just should have bought it. So I went searching a little bit and I ended up finding what I believe is the exact same one for back to that $89. So I put the two listings side by side and I couldn't find a difference with them, so I went ahead and got this one before the price started going up on it as well. So hopefully this wasn't like an older model or something like that. Ooh, nice. Got a nice little case here. Let's open it up. Instructions. Got to spend some time with those. Comes with a small tripod, charging cable. I think that's mini USB. And gimbal itself. All right. Feels pretty sturdy. One thing uh, some viewers complained about was this joystick switch here would falls off at some point so we'll have to keep our eye on that one it's got a quarter inch jack at the top of the gimbal it's got a quarter inch jack here on the side and a quarter inch jack on the bottom so my plan for this setup 
was keep the tripod on there, kind of extend the handle a little bit, as well as be able to set it up. There are little rubber feet right on the bottom of here, which are nice. They're, the tripod's a little small overall. If we're trying to set it up on some uneven terrain, I don't know how it'll perform. We'll find out. And then there is a weight limit to the gimbal. Um, it's listed as nine ounces. And my phone, it weighs uh, around 5.75 ounces. And then the mic here weighed 1.44, if I remember correctly. Now, I don't know if that included the mic, the uh, shock absorber, and the dead cat. Um, but I figured minimum 1.44. That gets me to, with the phone, to a little over 7. But I should still be good. So I can mount that up there, and the gimbal still should be able to um, balance itself and do the things that it's supposed to do but we'll find out so i'm going to take a moment and get all this together and we will see how it works cross your fingers okay so this hohem gimbal app gets a rating of 2.1 out of five stars Ugh. i got enough issues with technology all righty well i've had a day to fiddle around with this and get it to work and it did take me a little bit to to get everything calibrated and make sure everything worked so let me show you how it goes together so first off this is the tripod that comes with it i had this one as well a little bit bigger a little bit wider base so uh, i think i'm gonna go with this one at least initially just to get that extra stability so this just very easily screws on to the bottom of the gimbal so we got that set up now i needed to attach these cold shoe adapters and you attach it to this part right up here so when the gimbal is in its proper orientation it's like this so the mount goes right here. One thing is typically, you know, which way are you going to have your microphone oriented? Are you going to have it uh, in the vlogging position facing you? Or are you going to be picking up the sounds on the trail? Okay, so got that mount on. Now this other one gave me some problems as the connector point right here where the quarter inch jack 20 thread uh, connector is it's recessed in there and the little screws that came with these connectors was too short and it, could, it wouldn't catch the thread so I managed to find my own quarter inch 20 thread uh, screw so I was able to get this attached now the same potential issues here with this one this is for the light and so you know if you're in vlogging style the light needs to turn around towards you and if you're shooting scenery or people out in front of you or whatever you need to twist it around i don't think it's that big a deal to have to take this off and switch it around i mean it's a quick it's a quick mount here so for right now we'll set it up like we're shooting out towards y'all there's our light now for the phone it says to do it without the case actually I thought this was going to be a problem but the way they designed this piece right here is either this top will extend to take your phone or the bottom will extend to take your phone now with the Samsung S8s as opposed to the iPhones your headphone microphone jack is down on this one end as opposed to in the middle uh, where the lightning cable goes for most iPhones so this being down here it gave me the opportunity to be able to hook the mic uh, into this while it's all hooked up 
So here's what that looks like. So I need to do, I need to put it on the, on the bottom one and push it straight down until it locks into place. And then just slide it over to right there. And then that's hooked up and ready to go. And now take the Rode Video Micro, slide that on, clamp it down, and take the cable, swing it around here, and plug it in. Now, I've already had this balanced, so we'll just turn the gimbal on, see if it'll hold it in place. And there we go. So I thought I'd just run a few, a couple of the modes with you that it has. It's got four different modes on it. Um, the first one is pan free. So when you turn the gimbal, the phone will follow in the left to right direction. However, up to down, you can see it stays facing the camera there. So that's pan follow. Then there's pan tilt follow. And that one, you see side to side, the camera will move. And in this case, up and down, it stays with the direction of the gimbal. And one it, it, cool thing is that when it moves, it moves slowly. It doesn't just stick with the camera, it moves up, but it eases into that move, which makes for a little bit better footage. So the third one is all lock. So if you have something that you want to uh, keep the camera on, no matter what the gimbal's doing. So it's at the camera right now. So no matter where I'm moving it or how I'm moving it, it's sticking right there looking at you all. And then the fourth setting is all follow. So here it will pan, tilt, and rotate. And then the difference is turning it, it turns along with the gimbal. It just keeps itself aligned to the gimbal orientation no matter which way it is. But again, it does it smoothly. So makes for some nice footage. So as you can see, this is why I thought it was important for the microphone to be attached to the same uh, arm that the phone is. Because with this cord, here going from here and attaching to the phone it really needs to move with it because if you had this cord let's say we attached the microphone down into this open shoe then that the microphone would be fixed but this cord though it is stretchy so you could get it over there and you could get it plugged in but when you go to pan in this thing around it's going to be pulling on that cord and the gimbal motors are just not strong enough um, to pull it very far at all. I, I tried it and it just did not work very well. So I'm actually kind of fortunate that I can have this set up this way and uh, that the Samsung phones put their jacks down on, on one end of the phone so that this setup actually works. Let me show you some of the some of the footage that I took today with this setup. Hey, what's up guys? Just going to do a quick test here between the image stabilization that's already on the phone versus the gimbal that I got. I also have the Sirui uh, wide angle lens uh, on my phone here. So testing a couple of different things out, but I'm just going to take a quick walk down here, try and keep it as stable as I can. This is um, with the just the phone. You can see I had the Trekker Tent 3 up. We seam sealed everything and uh, got a little bit of rain on it. And well, it didn't leak, but it also wasn't a whole bunch of rain. So, oh well. Uh, the other thing is this uh, is just the audio of the phone itself. So there, I'm going to go back and do the exact same walk with all the gimbal attached. 
Alrighty, so this is quite the contraption. I've got the gimbal, I've got the phone in it, I got the lens on the front facing camera, and I got the uh, Rhodes Video Micro with the dead cat <coughs> on it. And we're going to go take the same walk. So the gimbal still appears to be able to handle the loads, but I don't know. You can do a lot of interesting things with it. Oh my gosh, Dad. So the other thing that remains to be seen is how uh, how difficult all this is to uh, backpack with. You know, to have hooked on somehow. I haven't figured out how to hook it on with my pack yet, so. We'll see. So since I am on the gimbal, I still like it. Just hope it works out. So which one do you think had the more steady video and which one do you think had the better audio? So if you can, let me know down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. That way I know uh, what y'all prefer when I actually get out on the trail and start taking some real hiking videos. Oh, sorry. Well, that's all I got for you this time. So, thank you all for watching, and you all have a great day.